Hey guys, greetings of the day. My name is Ninad Bhatt from Sapan Consulting Services Private Limited. And uh, I'm glad that I'm coming up with a yet another series of videos wherein we are going to discuss about the low ERP or in other words, you can say a law firm management solution. All right, so prior we start exploring this solution, let's get to know something more about uh, our company. So yes, we are Sapan CS and we are one of the prominent gold partners of uh, Odoo from india we have been here into the market uh, since more than uh, eight years serving our clients from 170 plus countries so far and uh, uh, we are having 400 plus applications custom-made applications on odus application store yet right so as you can see on the screen that we are currently on odus website mentioning the odus application store and our uh, applications that we have here, let's say exactly 160, uh, 461 applications that we have on the store. Also, we are having our uh, YouTube channel wherein you can explore the explore something more about our uh, solutions and services. So I would request all of you to follow our YouTube channel and subscribe it and click on this bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from us. Furthermore, if I talk about, uh, as I said, that we are into this uh, Odoo market since uh, eight plus years and we are having our uh, custom made solutions on top of almost all the major versions that Odoo has so far released. So you simply can have a look at these applications. Let's say the restaurant management, we have something for uh, field service tracking. We have gym management solution. We have some localizations available as well. All right, car wash management. So. In this video, in this series of video, what we are going to discuss will be about law firm management solution that we have. All right, uh, fine. So let's move ahead uh, with the solution. And in the first video of our series, uh, we are going to have a look at some of the basic navigation uh, things of this solution and also we will have a look at the basics of configuration how we can configure our solution or how we can pre-feed some of the data which will further be used by the major portion of the solution so hey as you can see that we are having this separate module for the low management along with some more Odoo's applications some supporting applications we can say let's say discuss uh, which will be used for the internal uh, chats and internal discuss discussions for your employees uh, we are having the contact application let's say to store and manage your contacts might be you know if, for an example you have uh, your vendors to manage you have uh, some of your clients record to manage separately so we have that application right uh, then we have the invoicing thing as the word suggests it will helping it will be helping you out to manage your uh, invoices we are having employees application to take care of all your lawyers and some non lawyer employees as well uh, by the applications uh, we can add or remove our, our, our the old application as per your requirement and we are having some general settings to perform before we start using the actual solution but we are going to have an extensive look inside the law management over here so i'm just getting inside the law management application so as also we discussed in uh, all of our earlier videos that uh, it has been the beauty of odo that it's not much cluttered we are not having much things on screen and uh, we always uh, you know wanted our, all of our solutions to be as simple as the client wants so as you can see here that okay we have an icon to switch between the applications then we would have the name of application over here and in the same row we would be having the major menu items right also the solutions are provided by o2 and also by serpent you know it's uh, one more uh, freedom for the users that it's flexible enough if you want to add some more menu items over here we simply can uh, customize it. We simply can extra develop those modules and the menu items that you want. So here you can see that these are some of the major menu items. Let's say the law management where, wherein we would be having, uh, we would be spending majority of our time uh, utilizing the features at its best. We're having the reporting thing wherein we get the law, lawyer analysis. And here we have the configuration thing available over here. After the major menu items on the same row, we can say that uh, we have some 
uh, more options pertaining to manage our uh, a user. Uh, your profile is a user, I would say. Uh, look and look out things will be managed. Your profile can be managed uh, from here. And if you work in the multi-company environment, we are having this option available. If a particular user has a rights to access all the companies, or let's say some of the companies, then it will be visible over here like this. So let's assume that we are having uh, one of one such companies. The name of the law firm would be Check and Met Legal Consultants, wherein uh, you know we are working. Let's assume that we the Check and Met Legal Consultants are having a group of lawyers and some other employees, and they have uh, been using this solution. So we will look into this solution in depth that how they are utilizing this technology and how they are using this solution. All right. Uh, so in the first screen, uh, as and when we get inside the law management application, the first screen will by default will be to create a matter. In the law fraternity, in the law firm management, everything starts by creating a matter. So that is going to be the default screen. We are having a simple create button over here from where the whole story gets started. But in this video, we can say that, uh, you know, let's let's I think have uh, a look at the configuration first. So as you can see on the menu items that we are having categories uh, to configure, we are having judges to configure, uh, then opposition lawyers, practice areas, degrees, some more information pertaining to the lawyer or your law firm, right? To start with the categories, it's nothing but the uh, categories of uh, different kind of crimes uh, the criminals uh, would commit and uh, we have the categories listed over here so that when we are creating the matter from here when it's about to choose the category the, these many categories will be listed in, inside the list so we always have an option to create the new one if you feel that uh, the category that you want or that you want for inside the list so you simply can create it from here we can name a category we can simple give a simply give it a code and a category type globally any crime which has occurred it, it it would be having only two categories from two category types either it can be civil or it can be criminal if the crime is that much severe so fine i'm discarding this record for now because i feel that the categories i want in the form all of these categories i think are there so let me move ahead uh, to configure some more things and i'm starting with the judge so again, as simple as that, you simply can have a list of judges uh, that you feel that uh, you know uh, you'll be working with, and uh, uh, as and when uh, it, it it comes to select the particular judge, you simply can get it selected from this list of judge that you have configured. Same goes with the opposition lawyer. If you have a list of opposition lawyer that so far you have worked with, it will be much easier for you to select them from the list. Practice area, okay. The practice area is, I think, one, one more practical thing. I would say that uh, it will be widely used when you are working with the matters or when you are working with the trials and every such things. So when you are selecting a particular person, when you are assigning a particular matter to a particular lawyer, so it these many practice area would, will be automatically filled in a particular uh, area of the field, I would say. So either any particular lawyer would be working, let's say, for small business law, some other lawyers would be having their expertise, let's say, in healthcare law or in some other kinds of laws. So here we simply can uh, mention, we simply can configure the practice area of all those lawyers. Accordingly, these data will be made available when we are working with the matters or trials. So moving further, we are having some educational information of your staff members all or especially of all your lawyers uh, so when we are filling when we are working with the lawyers profile uh, we will need to enter some more information let's say about uh, the degrees institutions universities certificates and some more academic information about that particular lawyer so to make it instantly available when we are working with the lawyers profile we have a very cool option available here that we simply can pre-configure the information so that it will be made available whenever we are working with the lawyer's profile. 
So same, I think, goes with the degrees institutes, right? You simply can create and add the new one and it will get listed just like over here. Certificates, if you uh, feel that the degrees are not enough, but if let's say if a particular lawyer has some more certification uh, added, uh, so you simply can mention those certificates over here and these information again will be available uh, as and when you are strengthening a profile of any of the lawyers. So it's about to fill up the academic uh, and educational information and all this information right from the degrees, institutes, universities and certificates can be configured from this menu item so that uh, you get the right information at the right time when you're working with the, any, with the profile of the lawyer. All uh, right, so going further, we are having some more options. Uh, let's say the client services. So which are those major services that your law firm offers to your clients that can be added over here. Uh, we can create new services. We can give it a code and the new services created will be added down this list. All right. So we also uh, sometimes face some situation wherein uh, we need to mention the acts and articles. So especially when you have confirmed your matter or we can say that when you already have created the matter, but okay, if you want to mention that which are the articles and which are the specific acts that can be applicable to uh, get done with any particular matter or to win the particular uh, litigation process. So here we have an option to configure these things as well. We can simply add some more information when it comes to acts. Same way, we have uh, an option to add some more information when it comes to the article. So I think if you have been using this solution down the line, let's say some couple of months or so, you will be having a long list of articles and acts uh, that will be pre-fitted or that will be pre-configured into your solution. And of course, that's 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 how you, know, you make your solution very much comfortable uh, to use because down the line, some some couple of months let's say two three months for four months or six months you will have majority of the x and articles added into your solution and it will further be directly used uh, when you are working with the matter or when you're working with uh, any of the litigation process that you are following same goes with the quotes we have an option if you once ever you will get an option to select uh, a particular uh, litigation house or a particular code house, you have an option to get it pre-configured so that it will be made simply available into the list whensoever you are selecting uh, a code or uh, wherein exactly uh, the, wherein the litigation process will be going on. Yep. So here we can mention when you're creating the codes, we simply have an option to uh, uh, give a name of the code, uh, code and uh, the location, wherein simply we you simply can mention the country of the court or let's say state and country, uh, right? Uh, what I have been doing so far is to mention the state plus country like this. Uh, let's say if, if, if the courthouse is from India, then I would simply mention MH India, which means that the court of Maharashtra and location state would be Maharashtra, country would be India. Hence, it will get list it like this and I'll be able to filter it out as I want. So the quotes from London, quotes from South Africa and uh, you keep on adding the quotes, you keep on adding uh, the, the right information when you're creating the quotes and so far it will be listed down over here like this. All right guys, so that's pretty much about the uh, configuration of this uh, solution. Uh, we are assuming that we have configured the solution in, in, in a way that we simply, in the next video, we simply will be able to go through the uh, major other options available. Let's say how to create matters, how to work with lawyers, uh, how to manage clients and clients request, right? So we will simply go with that flow. Thank you very much for joining uh, over this video. Thank you very much for your time. In the next video, we are going to have a look at some more options available to work with the low management system or to work with the low ERP that we are offering. Thank you very much again and have a nice day.